feel rock when you're doing the first ascent. You do, though, otherwise you, you shouldn't be there. There's nothing else going on. Okay, then. Tell me about... You your... feel great inside. You feel what the rock produces of your body. When you, when you climb it... What about your motivation on the first ascent? When you... At the times? Which was a different question. That's a totally fucking different question. So which one do you want? Second one. The motivation. Well, when you, when you climb really well, you feel great. <laughs> Right, your need for publicity and, and the, 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 you know, it affects us all sort of thing. I remember when, when I was filming you in the 80s and... Is it recognition? Ben recognition by your peers is miles more interesting to me than um, being written up in a magazine but, but by, by somebody with a high-pitched voice. It's a strange sort of enjoyment. I mean, they call it proto-suicide when you when you take a lot of risks in sequence, and then uh, unfortunately, sort of the, the magazines and things get hold of this, and and they don't tell the whole story about what it's like as a person doing it. But it you you know you get fixed as a sort of a, a madman or an artist or a, or a whatever, and those people can go fuck themselves basically. They don't know anything about it, and they're, they're all has beens or, or never was. <laughs> I know what you're trying, trying to get me to say for the camera, but I'm just trying to express, you know, that these routes are, uh, are fantastic routes, but they're not fantastic routes because I climbed them. The fact that I climbed them is pretty irrelevant. You know, this is, this is what people just don't seem to get. The rock's the, rock's the star. Always has been, always will be. You know, and uh, the fact that I could climb them means I understand rock, and that also means that I'm starful, and that's as good as it gets. There isn't anything else. And the, I, I like my names for the climbs. I like the people that I met climbing, except that they're a bit emotionally adrift like me, and I'd, I quite like to hang around more, more healthy people. And the, and the moves, the things I chose, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of my collection of climbs. It's, uh, I mean, they're the best climbs in the world, I think, because they're, you'd have to be strong to do them. You just have to be there, you know. And because, because people have try, tried Gaia, and it's kind of spat some amazing climbers off just because they are not listening to the rock properly, because it just crusts out and spits them off. And not, no, not confidence, a knowledge that, that, I could do the, that I could do the climbs, which is a different thing from confidence. Confidence has an element of hope in it. Whenever somebody uses the word confidence, you know they don't know anything about it. I'm definitely not getting worse. I, I could, I'm just not motivated to try that hard. I could climb better now than I've ever climbed. I mean, my, my best years for climbing was last year. I did some moves that I, I know there's nobody in Britain that could do. I know that. About four moves, single moves, very much to play to my own strengths and weaknesses in my, my body shape, which is exactly what their moves do, you know what I mean? Find something you can get a knee lock in here. It's got a tiny hold here, which sorts a short lever. Get a hold like that. You know, just go around the world till you find the right thing that nobody else can do, and then you're a great boulderer. Yeah. yeah. Which is what what's only one person's done it, and they thought it was 80 plus 8C, and it took them what's three it? times as long as to repeat Jerry's evolution. What's it? So, yeah, it's probably. To be up there with the sort of. No, no you just don't know your history. You just don't know your history. I wasn't aiming for 8C, I was aiming for 9A which is what the meltdown was, which I'd worked, and I pulled the, the overlap off it. But this was sports climbing. Are you aware of this, or are you this just taking the fist? Climbing. No, this is the sports climbing. But it just seemed to me, uh, OK, I don't know the exact instance. No, it I'm seems not, to people all sorts of things. They seem away all the time, and they should just, they should just start doing their own thing. I, when I, 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 when I came back... I thought it was a pretty clever move, move because you could grade it, have graded it anything and nobody would... Yeah, but it, st it stood the test of time, didn't it? And I've done him with with one hand, you know. And, and I'm much better than people could, you know, understand. I'm much better climber than they realise. It's it's not like it's not like I'm anything special. It's that I realised how special the human being is, not me, not how special I am. 
I notice how special I am. Which is a very, very different fucking thing. Which is beyond, you know, most people's brains, as I found out as I've got older. You know, and that's only because they don't use their brain. It's not because their brain is shit, it's because they're shit. They don't use their brain. Yeah, and they cause a lot of trouble by that. And I do feel bitter about that. I like the whole thing. I, I, I really like when you've got, um, when, when you, see, you see the climb, you climb it in your mind before you, you try it, what they call eye for a line. And you can do that on anything, even the ones that, I mean, I liked, the routes I haven't climbed are much more interesting to me than the ones I have climbed. I've got 50 routes in the Peak District, which I've worked, which I haven't done. And I'll, you know, I, and when, when they're done, I'll know whether or not they've been, um, been tapped or not, you know. Just, it, my mind immediately comes back to chipping because there's been so much bullshit. Because I like the rock, you see. It's like nobody noticed the rock getting damaged. Nobody gives a shit. It's like everybody sells things and names things. It's just crap. Indian face is like, oh yeah, that route I did that everybody's d chipped, lied about and, uh, and top roped. I'm not sure why people are more into bouldering, aren't prepared to take the risks of a, of a, of a route like this. I mean, some people do, but they do it after they're well past that level in fitness. I mean, people are climbing 8C and then they'll climb a lethal 7C. But they're not climbing 7C plus and doing a lethal 7C. You know, it'd be like somebody soloing... It'd be like somebody soloing El Cap would be an equivalent kind of hell yeah for somebody. You know, and, and in, a, in a way, what, what, it, what is the point? You know, I, I do actually have that kind of perspective as well. But um, the, other, the other side of the coin is you, 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 people's humdrum lives are contrived of other contrivances which don't have any style in them and are, are very boring to, to my mind. So and I, it, it, was, it was really nice to, to climb the route and to, to, to celebrate uh, and also to celebrate my friend Gabbert who, who named the Indian face. And the Indian face is the whole of the East Buttress in snow looks like an Indian looking leftwards and the pinnacle is the Indian's head and all the um, pieces of cliff underneath um, are the body of the Indian and behind it is the headdress leading on to the, to the gully that the Abrahams climbed. That's the Indian face. But nobody bothered to ask me. So they just couldn't be bothered to ring me up and so they just trotted out explanations. And I was, you know, I was supposed to sort of come up with some no, 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 it's this, 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 and be this needy person. But, um, and everything else was, was similarly shoddy, you know. It would have been nice to have, to have tried it on site, but in the status of the way it was going on, that, that's really why I don't have the, the most complete feeling for the climb. Because I, I would have liked to have climbed it like lots of my other routes on site and without putting bolts in. Because yeah, I didn't bolt mountain rock. And like, uh, I'm, I'm not, not really bitter as, as I seem. I'm just, I'm really disappointed because, you know, it's, it's, it's like, oh, the, the, there's a bit of um, the Mona Lisa's eye missing, you know, but the rest of it's there and, and they've done a good touch up. It looks pretty good, don't you think? Well, sort of, yeah. It's that sort of factor that sort of pervades everything that just makes me um, want to go bouldering on the West Wing or something, find a bit of rock that's not got bullshit painted all over it. Cloggy's just a, an amazing bottle of wine, an essence of the crag that, um, that you can, that never kind of leaves you. So talking about it is, is not so um, kind of easy to do, but I, I, I feel it in, in myself. A bit like, um, well, how do, you, how do you describe the presence of an essential feeling within yourself? It, it, it makes me feel... Um, wider, more um, involved in being alive. 